Welcome back, guys. In this teaching video, I'll be looking at 6.2 equation of a circle. 6.2 represents chapter 6, section 2 of the Pearson A level mass, pure mass year 1 textbook. Okay, let's go through the key facts of this section. First of all, the equation of a circle center 0, 0 and radius r is given by x squared plus y squared equal r squared. So here is a diagram. I've got a circle centered at 0, 0 and radius r. Next statement, the equation of a circle center a, b, where a and b are constants, this coordinate AB is any general coordinate. So center AB and radius R is given by open bracket X minus A close bracket squared plus open bracket Y minus B close bracket squared equal R squared. Let's draw a diagram. So I've got a circle centered at AB radius r that there ladies and gents are the key facts that we're going to be using in order to answer exam style questions for 6.2 equation of a circle here is exam style question one the line segment ab is a diameter of a circle where a and b are 4 7 and minus 8 3 respectively find the equation of the circle and the exam whenever you get questions about circles it is very useful to draw a diagram once you've got your diagram drawn, it becomes so much more easier to proceed with the solution. So I'll be using this information to set up a diagram. Firstly, we know that we've got a circle. The point A, 4, 7, will be roughly over here. The point B, minus 8, 3, would be roughly over here. The line A to B is the diameter of the circle which passes through the centre. This length and this length both represent the radius. Okay, so that there is my diagram. I want to find the equation of the circle. First of all, the general equation of a circle centre AB and radius R is given by this equation over here. So I'll start off by writing this equation. X minus A in bracket squared plus Y minus B in bracket squared equal r squared okay so the radius is r and the center is a b now to find the equation of the circle i need two key information number one i need the center of the circle and number two i need the radius of the circle let's start off with the center To find the centre of this circle, we want to work out the midpoint of the line segment A to B. So midpoint of line A to B. Add the x coordinates, divide by 2. So minus 8 plus 4 divided by 2. Add the y coordinates, divide by 2. 3 plus 7 divided by 2. This gives me the coordinate minus 2, 5. Okay, so now I've got the centre. I need to move forward and work out the radius of the circle. That is my next step, radius. There's many ways in which we can calculate the radius, but I'll go through a specific method. And that method is to use the equation of a circle with the centre substituted within that equation. So if I take this equation of the circle and substitute my centre, minus 2, 5, into it, I get the following result. Open bracket, x minus, minus 2, close bracket squared, plus open bracket, y minus 5, close bracket squared, equal r squared. Right, so I'll clean this up. I get x plus 2 in bracket squared plus y minus 5 in bracket squared equal r squared. Now from the diagram we know that the point A lies on the circle and the point B also lies on the circle. So I can substitute um, x and y for A or B into this particular equation to generate an equation involving r and then I can rearrange and work out r. 
So what I'll do is I'll take A, 4, 7, I'll substitute that in. So we've got A, which is 4, 7. When X is equal to 4, Y is equal to 7, this implies that we're going to substitute this into here. We get open bracket 4 plus 2, close bracket squared, plus open bracket 7 minus 5, close bracket squared, equal R squared. Now if I actually simplify this left hand side, I get 40. So 40 is equal R squared. This implies that we take the square root of 40, that would be the radius. Now I know that when you take the square root it's plus or minus, but since radius represents a positive output, it's a length, we take the positive square root and we neglect the negative square root. Anyways, the radius is equal to square root of 40. If I simplify this, I get 2 root 10 is my radius. Okay, so now I've got my centre of the circle and I've got my radius of the circle. I can write down the complete equation of the beautiful circle. So my complete equation would be open bracket x plus 2 close bracket squared plus open bracket y minus 5 close bracket squared equal my radius squared. So 2 root 10 in bracket squared. That there is the equation of the circle. That we needed in exam style question one. Here is exam style question two. A circle C has equation x squared plus y squared plus 12x plus 2y equal to k, where k is a constant. Part A, find the coordinates of the centre of C. Part B, state the range of possible values of k. Now this over here represents the equation of a circle in expanded form. If we want to work out the centre and the radius of the circle, we have to rewrite this equation in this particular form. To get this equation in this form over here, we have to complete the square. So we're going to complete the square on this particular equation of the circle. Complete the square. Like I said, if we get it in this particular form, it is then easy to extract the centre and the radius of the circle. So let's start off with part A. I've got equation x squared plus y squared plus 12x plus 2y is equal to k. My first step is to put the x's together and the y's together. So I've got x squared plus 12x plus y squared plus 2y equal k. Now I can complete the square on this particular quadratic involving x and then complete the square on this particular quadratic involving y. So let's start off with this quadratic. I set up my bracket squared minus bracket squared. In goes x. The coefficient of x over here is positive 12. You take positive 12 and you half it, you get positive 6. So you can stick that into here and into here. All right, let's complete the square on this quadratic involving y. So we've got plus. Set up your bracket squared minus bracket squared. And then we've got equal k at the end. In goes y. Now you take the coefficient of y, which is positive 2, and you half it. You get positive 1. So stick in positive 1 here and positive 1 over here. Let's clean this up. So I've got my bracket x plus 6 squared uh, plus bracket y plus 1 squared then I've got 6 squared which is 36 minus 36 1 squared which is 1 minus 1 equal k so I'm going to take the constants to the right hand side and then simplify I get bracket x plus 6 squared plus bracket y plus 1 squared equal to k plus 37 and that there is the equation of the circle in this particular form now i can take out the center of the circle i can easily set each element inside the bracket equal to zero so x plus six equals zero 
y plus 1 equals 0. Solve both equations, I get x equal minus 6, y equal minus 1. So the center of the circle will just be minus 6 minus 1. Now my radius r will equal the square root of k plus 37. So square root of k plus 37. And that there, ladies and gents, completes part A of the question. Now in part B, it says, state the range of possible values of k. Range of possible values. So my answer will be inequality. So it will be an inequality. Now, how do we do part B? Well, first of all, you notice that over here, you have k plus 37. That there leads on to the radius r, which is square root of k plus 37. The radius of a circle is always positive. This statement implies that the radius r has to be greater than zero. So I'm going to use that statement to set up my inequality involving k. This then implies that the radius r, which is square root of k plus 37, has to be greater than zero. Now we can solve this inequality. To get rid of square root, I need to square both sides. So if I square both sides, I get k plus 37, is greater than 0 squared, which is just 0. I've got a linear inequality involving k. I can solve this now. So this implies that k is greater than minus 37. So in part b, state the range of possible values of k. The answer will just be k is greater than minus 37. And that there, ladies and gents, completes part b of the question and this exam style question too. If you found this video useful, Please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on the notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post teaching videos.